<laughs> I want to talk to you about Lee Bowyer. Yeah. You had a little fit, or he had a fisty cuff with you against Aston Villa on the pitch. Mm. What happened? Just frustrations, bowled over. Um, Were you yeah, mates he, before that? Yeah, still mates now. Yeah. Uh, everyone thought there was some hidden agenda behind it. And, you know, in Newcastle, there was loads of rumours about I'd done this or he'd done that or he was a racist. And it's all nonsense. It was just he is a hothead on the football pitch. I think he'd openly admit it. He's had loads of red cards and... I didn't pass him the ball. He had this bee in his bonnet all game that I weren't passing him the ball. And total nonsense. No, I there was a you could probably go through the game. There's probably about three or four instances instances where I could have given him the ball, but I didn't. But as I was saying to him, I haven't given the ball away. I've given it to someone else. Yeah. But I have if I give the ball away, then I moan at me. And it's just he's getting more and more wound up and we're three 0 down at the time. Got a man sent off to Stephen Taylor doing that stupid pretending it. Was that the face? Yeah, he pretended it hit him on the face when he handballed it. (laughs) And then, yeah, I remember he came short again. I passed it on the other side of the pitch and he just went mad. Then I probably made it worse by saying the reason I don't pass you the ball is because you are. Yeah, I heard that. (laughs) Useless. Yeah, basically. And then you just see his eyes. They just, (laughs) it was just like, it was just like he got possessed and then. As he's walking to me, I'm thinking, oh, no, you just know. And he's come in with his head and I've held him. But at no point, even though he lost his head, did I think punches were going to suck. And when I just was getting dunked on the head, it was like, it happened so quick, but it was like in slow motion because I can remember in my head going, I can't believe he's punching me in front of 52,000 <laughs> people. That's, that's how slow it must have felt. It felt like it was going and then... The craziest thing about that, I didn't think you could get sent off for fighting your own teammate. <laughs> so, like, he's like, like, the ref sends me off first. And I'm thinking, why am I getting sent off? Like, and then Bo gets sent off, and we're waiting in the tunnel to fight each other and finish it once and for all. And we had these two, uh, two masseurs who worked in uh, prisons, massive, Johnny and Lenny. And they just put us on the shoulder, you know, when your legs are dangling like a little cartoon trying to, I'm going to kill you when I get in the change room and that. And they just sat us down and uh, they sat in the middle and then when that final whistle came, I remember Boom Song come up first. He was like, you want to fight? Fight now! So I'm thinking, yeah, we'll fight now then, right? Because I was still raging. And then Big Al comes in Uh-oh. and I have never, Cheer. ever, ever seen him that angry. And he's just called us every name under the sun because he realised we had a cup semi-final, FA Cup semi-final against United in two weeks and it was Shearer's last season. Never won silverware with Newcastle and he knows we're suspended of fighting his corner selfish and and then the reality of it of like, oh my God, we've let everyone down. I'm going to be suspended for the FA Cup semi-final and then soon has come in and that was head down and he just was saying he was going to beat us both up and <laughs> soon as said I'll take both of you done, right? exactly and he took off his suit jacket and just like I'm, and I'm like oh because it was just like and obviously I had so many previous kind of madness with the fans I'd lost the faith of the fans and that season was soon as I was playing so good everything was on side and then I was thinking oh here we go again um, but yeah it's crazy. Okay. Well, we probably both get remembered more to, for that than our actual careers. <laughs> let's uh, let's get his side of the story and say hello, Lee Bowyer. <laughs> <laughs> Talk Sport Drive, super opinionated sporting debate, Monday to Friday afternoon from four on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.